You know what, guys? This week, I really forgot how good Stephen King's earlier writing was. Wow. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be talking about Horror Mayhem Week 3. The theme for this week was Cosmic Horror and originally I wanted to read Agents of Dreamland by Caitlin Kiernan but uh, found it hard to find a copy and I didn't want to pay $9 for a 125 page digital file. So I ended up changing my mind and going with The Mist by Stephen King and I don't regret it. Uh, I really enjoyed revisiting uh, King's earlier work uh, the work was uh, brilliant back in the day, and it still is today, but uh, I found uh, The Mist very, very uh, uh, engaging. I enjoyed the story a lot. I enjoyed the character of Mike and his son and uh, how they overcome what happens. So the story starts with uh, a massive storm uh, coming through their lake property, lakeside property, and uh, out of that storm comes a mysterious mist that people, that people are baffled by. They're thinking, what is this? So uh, Mike, along with his son and his neighbor, trek into town to get some supplies, and whilst they're in town, the fog moves in, or the mist moves in, and they're trapped in the um, convenience store with uh, about 70 or 80 other people. So they're boxed in like sardines, and they witness alien creatures come out of the mist and uh, kill and eat people. <laughs> so no one knows what it is, and a couple of uh, uh, silly people uh, leave the store to investigate and they get killed by alien creatures where uh, big tentacles come out of the mist and kill people and cut them in half and uh, then we see uh, alien big alien flies and alien spiders um, I think King created really really vivid creatures um, from his imagination I thought they were brilliant and the whole story uh, moved along at a breakneck pace the characterization was great how uh, King explored what happens to people when they are boxed in. Uh, a cabin fever develops and it's funny how a lot of the people uh, segregate themselves into specific groups. Uh, there's one woman in there that, uh, you know, she's a big lady in uh, fluoro pantsuit, uh, you know, a tracksuit, and uh, she's very manic and uh, uh, religious and she thinks the end of the world's coming and uh, she begins to convert people against Mike and what he's trying to do in trying to uh, solve the problem and uh, get out of there. And uh, I just thought the whole thing was very well written. It's one of King's best works and uh, forgot how good King's early writing was by revisiting this one. So uh, I was really happy with it. I had a blast with it. It didn't take too long. And um, yeah, it made me want to keep going and uh, reading the rest of Skeleton Crew, which I may do. So uh, really, really enjoyed it. So there we go. Uh, not much more to say about it. Uh, it was uh, just brilliant, basically. But I will say that I'm really enjoying the Horror Mayhem project. I, I am enjoying it a lot more than February Fantasy Stories because there were a couple of uh, DNFs uh, in that. I didn't quite enjoy it as much because I was reading uh, short stories, but I feel I really have to be in the mood for short stories. For Horror Mayhem, I did choose uh, four short novels and uh, it's a, lot, a much better format for me. I can commit, I can settle in and enjoy the ride for a little bit longer than uh, uh, short stories where uh, you don't get enough uh, entertainment. So there we go. But uh, guys, I'm really looking forward to uh, Horror Mayhem Week 4 next week. I am doing Thinner by Richard Barkman, aka Stephen King. Haven't read Thinner in a lot of years, although I have watched the adaptation at least five times and I really enjoy that and I uh, don't remember much on what happened specifically in the book but I'm really looking forward to revisiting King's early work again so uh, yeah bring that on <laughs> so as always please don't forget to like and subscribe if you've got any feedback uh, please put it in the comments below and I'll always respond to those and I'm also looking forward to uh, what my co-hosts uh, fellow co-hosts have uh, read in week 
three as well. I'll be watching their videos and seeing uh, what they read. And uh, it's a fantastic project created by the Bookish Bryants. If you haven't checked out their channel, please do. They uh, have great content and they also have been interviewing um, independent horror authors recently as well, which is, uh, which is great. Good on them and uh, make sure you check out their channel. But please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, what else is coming up on the channel just before I go? A few things happening. I have I've got a couple of announcements coming up next week. Uh, not this weekend, but the following weekend. My weekly update is going to be a little bit different. Uh, there will be uh, a focus on something non-book related, which uh, I'll uh, do a bit of promo this week uh, to uh, build up excitement for that. And uh, yeah, a couple of other announcements. I'm going to be um, branching out more and getting even further out of my comfort zone with reading. Uh, and I'm really, really excited about it and uh, so excited that uh, I've, I'm going to be doing another reading vlog uh, very very soon and uh, the book I'm planning on reading is uh, another 900 page monster so uh, I'll reveal that later but uh, yeah stay tuned for that so thank you all to my subscribers for watching and until next time see you later